Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to me, Dave Pumphouse. Well, what are we playing today? It's Dresden, the Battle of 1813, Napoleon's last great victory, as it's known. How did I get involved in this one? Well, the other day, I got a message from our friend Special Z. Now, you might remember Special Z. He was uh, Alexander in uh, the Austerlitz gang. We like the Special Z. He's the funny bloke. And he uh, gave me a message. And he says, do you want to take part in a, in a uh, Napoleonic Kriegspiel? I said, oh, you know, what's, uh, what do you need me to do? And he said, I want you to take a call. I was like, oh, okay. I mean... I think I said after D-Day that I probably didn't want to become a core commander for one of these big games again because, you know, as fun as an experience as it was, it wasn't a half a headache. But he asked me to join and I, I felt that it was such a, an enticing invitation that I could not refuse. So he said, great, you're in. And we're going to give you Sancerre. So I was just like, okay, cool. You know, this, this, this is, this is the man. This is what he did. You know, he, he played a pretty important part in Dresden. Uh, let's have a look at the core. So I got given the core, you know, literally only a few hours before the start of the game. Some of my division commanders were still looking for uh, ideas of what to do and, and, and orders from above because they didn't, necessarily know the general plan of things but we kind of got given a basic kind of you know do what you want feel out the enemy do some probing attacks and see how you get on but be ready for an attack that we want you to commence by about noon information that we had on the enemy was that the Prussians we're in front of us, camped out in this big old stately garden, as well as the Russians being up here. I think pretty much more or less the historical positions uh, of the enemy. I can't be 100% sure, but uh, for argument's sake, this, this is basically the line. So you've got the Austrians uh, being around here, the Prussians taking up uh, a position what, between like uh, Strela and Gruna and the Russians kind of more to the northeast around Stresen. So we had to scurry around for, for a quick battle plan to give to these division commanders. Now to no fault of their own they would yeah they were just like oh yeah we'll, we'll get up at uh, half six get up at half six and, and then we'll uh, yeah let the men have have some rest and uh, yeah because they've been marching a long time to get here you know let them sleep there's no sleep there's no sleep in pump house's core you know i don't know half these guys that are in my core i don't think i've played a game with them before and i don't think they know you know that the way i play i'm the type of player who's I want to say you know go big or go home especially when we've got such an opportunity in front of us because in our little intel report we were told that the Prussians were camped out here we've got our entire core facing these gardens I wouldn't say it's amazing ground to fight on all these hedgerows and little pretty pollarded trees you know, I've been to the gardens of Versailles. I, you know, I, as, as pretty as they are, I don't think it's a great, uh, great field of battle, to be honest. Um, with all those statues and fountains and, you know, what have you, all in the way. So I basically turned around to my division commanders and I, I said, with all due respect, gentlemen, I did castigate him a little bit. I was just like, half six. If you're trying to get up at half six, 
far too late. Dawn is a quarter to five. I looked it up. I was just like, end of August in Europe? You know, the, the days were a bit long. I mean, I've, I've pulled a few all-nighters in my time. I know when the sun comes up. Yeah, me and Barry Buntickle around Shoreditch, getting kicked out of my clubs over the summer. Six o'clock and you're out, but by that time the sun's already been up for two hours. People are about to start their day. It's time to go out to the duck and waffle and get some breakfast. That's what we like to do. Anyway, I said, look, we've got Prussians camping out in this garden. I don't want them there. I don't want them there by the time I, I, you know, we start trying to do stuff and trying to prepare for this kind of noon attack that's supposed to be underway. What I want is a raid attack. So we hastily grabbed Calparidi, Claparidi, Claparidi over here, and we said, look, it's a gamble. Probably, yeah, it might not even work, but the thing is we've got to try. We don't want the Prussians just sitting out here with impunity. If they're tired, yeah, if we're tired, then they're probably tired too. Yeah, apparently there was some fighting yesterday, the day before I took over the core of Saint Cyr. I was like, look, we're both tired, but the thing is, this, this is shit ground. I don't want to be fighting in this all day tomorrow. I want them out. You know, any bad pest in the garden, I want it out. I want it out of my garden. So we ordered a raid with uh, this uh, half a brigade here, a couple of battalions going in, or you know, three regiments, as one does. Get your light infantry. Just, just go. Just cause havoc. You know, if they're still sleeping, they'll we'll, we'll definitely put the wind up them. So it's now four o'clock, and we've got a report back from uh, Claparidi that he's managed to do his little raid, catch them with their pants down, and he wants uh, more support. I said, okay, that's that's really good. I am mindful of uh, you know drip feeding troops in but you know if he's if he's asking for him I'll, I'll trust him so we've got the hundredth line ready we would have rather have had them up here before but um as they're in claparidi's uh division he should have really ordered them up quicker but uh they're, they're with me at the moment they're down here somewhere so we're going to send them in next turn to, to help in, in, in this attack. And we're also going to, funny enough, get the Hazars to move in on, on, on the left as, as well. The left of the Prussian uh, positions here. And then maybe they can cause extra havoc in, in this makeshift camp that they've got going on. And who knows, maybe by six o'clock we can knock, knock the uh, Prussians out of the, uh, out of the equation for most of the day at least with half half a brigade that was the plan anyway we'll see how that goes uh, it's funny as well because I've already got um, a couple of messages from, from people asking me what the hell's going on uh, now I was given a lot of uh, leeway by Napoleon uh, being played by Special Z and you know he did say you know yeah prepare for this this noon attack uh, but, you know, do probing attacks as well. Feel out the enemy. Keep them busy. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I wanted these Prussians out of the garden. So, whoever's playing the Prussians, no hard feelings, mate. I just didn't want you there. <laughs> and we'll see. We'll see how uh, this, this goes uh, forward. Our, our main kind of objective by the end of the day is supposedly to... Uh, attack towards uh, Zeschenitz and Gruner and, and, and I guess have a line along here somewhere 
So, yeah, if we knock the Prussians out nice and early, maybe we can achieve that. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't want them waking up too late, and I didn't want them just sitting there. So yeah, we'll we'll see how the how the morning goes. This is going to be a fun one. I can feel it. And as always, give the video a thumbs up if you if you like it. I mean, it will go out a good couple of months after the fact. And tell me, tell me what would you do? Do you think this is a a good plan? Yeah, you know, would would you do the same thing? Would you allow the enemy to sit half a mile in front of you, just camped out, laughing, chuckling away, fires blaring, or would you would you go in for the kill? Would you say that? No, not having it. My men are tired, their men are tired, but the thing is, we got to take advantage. Yeah, there's lots of bushes and trees and stuff. A raid attack and a sneak attack are up on them if well conducted will work and it seems like it did work rather well all hats off to the 29th and 27th light infantry as well as Clapperade if uh, he he gets it done what we're going to do with the other two divisions I don't know we might send one south to Bothenburg and Bornberg and what have you uh, to face the Austrians. I'm kind of worried that maybe the Austrians will uh, have some kind of uh, artillery set up there. Originally, before I, I joined the game, the division commanders were talking about taking this hill. I, 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 I see the point that was made. However, I, I, I'm not sure what kind of advantage it, it gives us straight away i think the, the gardens are, are maybe more important especially for maybe just splitting up the uh, austrians away from the uh, the russians and prussians uh may, maybe just you know disrupt their cohesion a bit and then working together uh but yeah it looks like we definitely caught them by, with their pants down uh so yeah i'm looking forward to this one this one should be fun uh, or either make or break me as um, as a core commander. But yeah, we're back in the saddle again. We're back commanding guys, back commanding troops. This one's going to be fun. See you on the next one.